guys, welcome back to another banger video, and today we're gonna be showing you how to like how the physics work in uh, Capuchin and like how to run and everything like that. Because a lot of people have trouble when they just get out from tutorial because the physics in this game are way different than Gorilla Tag because you're bouncy and it's super weird to know if you want to do this or you're gonna want to do this. So that's what I'm gonna be teaching you in this video, and yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, so the first way I'm gonna be showing you to run is the way that you'll get tired of it. Like, you'll get tired of running like this, but you get really, really fast. And this is the two-hand way. So, you don't wanna get both of your hands, and then you're gonna hit off the ground. As you see, you go pretty far. Cause you're bouncing this game. Cause if you bounce off an object, you bounce too. And to demonstrate it, that, like, let's say you hit off, like, let's say, like, you jump right there, and then you jump, and then you hit off a tree. See, you bounce. Like that. That's because the game's physics make you bounce. So there's a lot of ways to actually, like, walk and everything. But this way is good for going super super fast and to have your advantage you don't want to hit off the hills because that'll make you go further also this way can make you climb up walls probably like what do you mean so if you go to a spot that's light enough so you can actually see the wall you can you can grab onto the wall because the physics are so weird that like you well you don't grab onto it but you move your hands in this motion what will make you stick to it as you can see i just got that high if as you know what and i'll do it again too see that's just not normal see <laughs> there's a curve right there but yeah you just do that because it's putting pressure on the wall and then you're pulling up and then you stick to it you pull back up and then go up and it's really really cool if you get really really good at it you can get out of the map that I showed you over there. But, um, yeah, that's the first way. It's pretty cool, but you can get very tired from it. But I just keep on swinging your arms. Okay, this second way is not as fast, but you can, like, move all around. And this is just using the grill type of Just moving arms like that parallel to the ground. Don't try to funny run or anything. Cause it's not fast cause it sticks you to the ground. Or even the fast way in grill attack. Like I'm actually going fast right now. But it doesn't look like it. That's why if you want to run like grill attack, run like this. It's really good because you can traverse easier and everything. You can go around objects, duck and still keep up your speed. But it's not as powerful. And this is the last way, which is a good way if you're trying to get to a um, place really fast, but not take up your energy. This is gonna sound weird, but you're gonna wanna move your arms in circles like this. I don't know why, but to me, it, it's, it really helps to go super fast. So it's like, you put your arms in a windmill and you have to do this. It might feel weird at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's really fast. Also, sometimes you don't even have to go all the way, you just have to do that and it's pretty efficient too and let's say we're going down here we're going over here you're gonna want to run the windmill way and then you're gonna want to use that powerful way to get through the jump and then use the west and the rest of the way the normal way of girl tag but if you haven't noticed yet if you hit off an object by going a little under it and then pushing up, you go high. Like, you can be like, like that. And that's super, super high. And it's because how these physics work. So you can do it here too. And be like, yeah, you can go really, really far. Like you get your hand and then you push it down. Like see how high I got. Well, you can also do two hands if you wanna be more steady. But like getting up here, You'd want to use one hand, but if that's not working, 
you can use two hands. Yeah, so it's very cool because you can get really, really high by how bouncy you are. See, I got all, all the way over here by just doing that. You can do that literally anywhere. So it's very, very cool. And the last step, step, climbing ropes. To climb ropes, you really just gotta grab them and they'll be shaking your hands. But you don't wanna go fast because that's gonna be kinda hard to do sometimes. And see that? My arm gets stuck. And then when I let go, it doesn't go back to the spot. So you're gonna be careful because your hand is gonna do that sometimes. Because think of it as capuchin, you're very, very heavy, but you're bouncy. So you stay up. And to climb ropes, you don't want to go fast. You just want to grab it, and then boom. Grab it, and groom. Boom. If you, to make sure you have a good grab, you should be able to do this without falling off. So make sure you have a good grab, or else you won't be able to climb it. And you can use this way, so you don't have to use that way to get up. And yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed how to learn Capuchin's physics and everything like that. If you just started Capuchin, try this out, and yeah, bye, subscribe.